Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, I hope everybody has seen this announcement from OpenAI. It has come up with this new amazing model that is called a gpt 4 o And this specific model specifically works with audio, vision and text in real time. And recently, I think you have also seen the demo of Google Gemini Pro. And there uh, they had later announced that they had actually taken frame by frame and they had created that particular video. So it was not real time. But definitely by seeing this demo, it's quite amazing. But today in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the demo, which is super amazing and def can definitely change the entire learning experience of all the people, right? And uh, definitely make sure that you watch this video till the end because this demo, I'm going to play it in front of you. And trust me, uh, you, just by seeing that demo, you'll be able to understand how amazing that specific use case is, okay? So about GPT-4.0, I've also spoken about in my previous video. One of the demo which I liked it is this demo with respect to your learning experience. I think this can really change the kind of mindset that we have with respect to learning. Okay. And after that, I will be talking about one very important thing that how this entire GPT-4.0 model is basically created. What was the problem before? and how they have actually created it okay so we'll be also talking about that so first of all let's go ahead and check out this entire demo itself so i'm just going to play this video so it is again i hope everybody knows him right um uh, khan khan uh, academy i hope everybody knows about it all the free stuff free education stuff are available in its website okay so let's see this demo and let's enjoy it and later on i'll probably talk about this and how amazing your learning experience will be so let's go ahead and watch this demo open ai invited myself and my son imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology and so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on khan academy so let's get it started it's loading up all right make sure we can see our screen actually in, in this form, Hello there. I I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha. All right. So I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Correct. Correct. Yes. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember really, I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would we, would the answer be seven over 25? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals seven over 25. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. 
So here you could actually see the entire demo and um, I know the problem statement is very simple with respect to mathematics over here. But just imagine right now this model has been created. How helpful it will be in a larger scale in understanding any subjects, any technical stuff, you know. And the way it is specifically teaching, this model is teaching to the student over here. It's quite amazing. It will be used for revision, for interviews, for multiple things, for crack jobs, you know. It can actually provide you the complete guidance. And this was the most excited demo, most amazing demo I've probably seen in this entire number of demos that is given by OpenAI. And this is what, you know, is the capability of this specific model. The most amazing thing that I actually liked. Now, let's talk about uh, previous. Also, they came up with something right over here, but it was really, really slow. So let's understand what exactly it was and all and how uh, you'll be able to see that how things uh, were before. Right. So prior to. Uh, OK, let me just close all this thing because it is coming and disturbing okay prior to gpt4 oh you could use voice mode to talk to chat gpt with latency of 2.8 second in gpt 3.5 5.4 second in gpt4 on average so obviously because of this you won't be able to get that real time thing right to achieve this voice mode is a pipeline of three separate models one simple model transcribed audio to text GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 takes an input and output text and the third sample model converts that text back to audio. This process means that the main source of intelligence GPT 4 loses a lot of information. It can directly observe tone, multiple speakers or background noises and can out, it can't output laughter, singing or express emotions. So with GPT 4.0 they have trained a single new model end to end across text vision and audio meaning all the inputs and outputs are processed by the same neural network because gpt4 is our first model combining all these model modalities we are still just scratching the surface of exploring what the model can do and its limitation so this is just the beginning right and just i've told you like after seeing all these demos using it in some kind of products and providing it to the users will again provide an amazing experience one more thing uh model evaluation i've already told about you know it is basically evaluated on text evaluation audio asr performance you know in different different languages from different different region you know and uh, here you could see comparing it to whisper what kind of error rate it is and it is very less when compared to whisper itself right audio translation performance uh, here also another blue score is basically used with respect to OpenAI, Meta and Google and again over here OpenAI looks good itself right uh, with respect to this green sign then you have this exam zero shot results vision understanding eval so different different performance metrics are definitely used uh, language tokenization we have already spoken about like how many different languages it is basically being used with respect to this there are still some uh, capabilities uh, limitations of the model right you can probably see this particular demo and get to know more about it but in short uh, amazing demo altogether and i hope you also like this demo so please make sure that you write down in the comment section and let me know whether you're excited for this i'm just waiting for this particular api to come up uh, right now we are seeing demo and also you can explore in the playground right i've explored some of the text over here with respect to the conversation i have the chat gpt account i hope but it will be available for everyone in the chat gpt account itself completely for free so i hope you like this particular video this was it from my side i'll see you all in the next video but yes yet this is the most powerful demo i have ever seen from any of the models out there so yes i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye